Happy holidays everyone and welcome to my channel. I would like to share with you how I get ready for Christmas, um, how I decorate my living room and the things that I do to get ready for Christmas. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. I usually start setting up the Christmas tree because this just sets the holiday mood for me. Add some Christmas songs in the background. It becomes fun for me. I only have a six foot tall tree, so I elevate it by putting it on top of a table. I prefer traditional Christmas decorations, so I use a lot of reds, greens, and gold. And because we have a new furry member in our family, Joaquin, who is adorable but naughty, so I had to protect my tree area by putting a fence around it. Then I start decorating the rest of the room, usually the windows and the sliding door. This lantern is one of my favorites because it reminds me of home, the Philippines. You'll see this everywhere back home. We call this parol, which is a star-shaped lantern that symbolizes the star of Bethlehem. So this is now how my house looks like after putting the Christmas decorations. So there's my small Christmas tree now without the fence. My decorations are simple and affordable. The bows, the bells, and the Christmas garland I got from my favorite store because it's cheap. The Dollar Tree. The centerpiece you see here, I made from Dollar Tree items as well. The wreaths you see on each side are DIYs that I made about two years ago and it was definitely cheaper compared to buying a ready-made one. I've always wanted a nativity set. After all, he is the reason for Christmas, but this is all I have right now, and this is my project next year. Now with Christmas decorating done, another thing I do is make yummy chocolate crinkles that I give to my family and friends. It is easy to make, affordable, and most of all, delicious. They love it and look forward to it every Christmas. And here's a quick overview of how I make it and package it so it looks more Christmassy. So, after making the crinkles, I put them in tin containers like this, again from the Dollar Tree. And here's how I package them. And this is how it looks like after. If you have a sweet tooth and you love chocolate, you should try this. I'll put the link of the recipe I got it from below if you're interested. So have a Merry Christmas everyone. Have a blessed holiday. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.